Here at the BU Alzheimer's Disease and CT Center, we do a variety of different types of research, focusing predominantly on Alzheimer's disease and also on a disease called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. Over the last eight years, we've really had an increasing research focus on CTE. We've been very interested in the long-term consequences of, of repetitive head impacts. And we've been looking at uh, both contact sports and military veterans uh, who've experienced a lot of these repetitive head injuries and seeing what their long-term outcome is. So chronic traumatic encephalopathy is a slow disease. It, 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 it progresses over decades. And so you just sort of notice subtle things at first, like maybe a behavior change or maybe they're just not multitasking quite well. Most individuals who experience this disease complain of a, a loss of control. And then as the disease gets worse, you know, they get cognitive problems and, and a full-blown dementia. I'm really fortunate being able to focus on these two different diseases because of the tremendous public health issues that, that are involved. With Alzheimer's disease, there's around five and a half million Americans who have the dementia from Alzheimer's disease, and that's growing exponentially to the point right now where we have around one out of two or one out of three people age 85 and older who has the dementia from Alzheimer's disease. It's really an epidemic, and we need to do something about it. With CTE, we don't really know how big it is. The, the science of it is really still in its infancy. There's no way to diagnose this disease when they're alive. So what we do is analyze the brains of individuals uh, whose brains have been donated. And we've learned so much in the last eight years. And now we're understanding where it starts in the brain, how it starts, what uh, regions are affected first. And we're all putting our minds together and trying to be creative uh, and thinking out of the box. Uh, how could we identify this disease before it gets out of control? I, I think that's been one of the really exciting things here at Boston University. We had students at every level, uh, uh, college students, grad students, medical students, uh, actively involved in the work. And I think, I think that's a big reason why we've been successful, because we knew that that was the way to solutions and to more knowledge. And that's, that's I think, what drives me every day, is like, the more we learn, the closer we come to eradicating this. What we're trying to do is to diagnose, treat, and prevent these very important brain diseases that affect millions upon millions of people. We need to do it. We need to do it quickly.